This book, A Thousand and One Comics You Must Read Before You Die, opened my mind to comics from all over the world and a rich history that goes back over 120 years. This video series highlights some of my favorites. Here you go. Here's a really old one and somewhat obscure comic from 1903. It has one of the best names in classic comics. This is The Upside Downs of Little Lady Lovekins and Old Man Muffaroo. And this is a big book by Sunday Press and they're known for presenting things as they originally appeared in newspapers. And we're gonna open this up and take a look at the, the insides. This is a special book because it collects all of the cartoons that Gustav Verbeek drew from 1903 to 1905, including the complete run of the Upside Downs. What makes this truly special is that this is a testament to Gustav Verbeek's genius. Each one of these Sunday pages is broken into six panels, and they have captions at the bottom, and if you read them in order the, through the six panels, you get one story, and then you turn the whole thing upside down, and panel six becomes panel seven, and you start reading them again, it continues the story. Now he had to think and draw all of these stories so that they could be read both right way up and upside down, and that is just remarkable. Truly amazing that he is able to do that. This book contains all of the Sunday strips for the Upside Downs that Gustav Verbeek drew from 1903 to 1905. It also includes samples of his other works, including the loony lyrics of Lulu and the terrors of the tiny tads. And while the artwork is better in these other strips because he didn't have to adhere to the upside down rules that he imposed upon himself for the upside downs, the truly remarkable strip is actually the upside downs because of just the sheer amount of thinking and, uh, and creativity he would have had to, to do to come up with that concept. Some of the stories are very far-fetched and you have to stretch your imagination a lot in order to see the pictures in the upside down way or even the right way up way. But if you can get past that, I think you'll have a great time because they're just remarkable stories. Uh, they're great to experience. This is The Upside Downs of Little Lady Lovekins and Old Man Muffaroo by Gustav Verbeek, published by Sunday Press in 